What's going on everybody? I'm the Entertainist and welcome back. Tom and Jerry is a money grabber that's directed by Tim Story and it is a movie adaptation of a classic cartoon that has real people in it and it's primarily focused on them and yeah we've seen it before. There's the Smurfs, Alvin the Chipmunks, which actually was good in its time and then they made something called Squeakwool and Chipwrecked. Yogi Bear, We've seen all of it before. So Tom and Jerry isn't too much different. It's out on HBO Max. And you know what? It's At least it's a new movie <laughs> to watch because we don't really have many of those now. And hey, it's something to kill time before Godzilla vs. Khan and Justice League comes out and uh, Black Widow and Spider-Man 3, I suppose. The movie's exactly what I expected it to be. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I'm not going to explain the plot because the plot is meaningless. I mean, it focuses on Chloe Grace Moretz, and I love her, but I don't like this movie. And um, she plays this girl who gets this job at a hotel and has to, and she has to do a good job and make sure Tom and Jerry don't cause their shenanigans because there's a couple getting married there and they're very rich. Yeah. It's a movie about real people with a terrible plot and unfunny jokes and Tom and Jerry just so happen to be in it. And you know, I just, I don't like these movies of classic cartoons when they try to mesh it with real life. Sometimes it works. Alvin the Chipmunks was different because the Chipmunks actually interact with human beings in the original cartoons. Tom and Jerry, yeah, but you could have just made it an animated movie. They really could have. And Tom and Jerry don't talk, so it's like, how can we keep this funny for an hour and a half? The movie's actually, I think it's a little longer than that, and it I don't know why it was and needed to be. Um, there are aspects of it with Tom and Jerry that are kind of funny. I'm not going to lie, I giggled. There's one part when Tom's about to get jumped by, you know, the street cats, and then uh, he calls over animal control, and then one's like, oh, five oh, gotta go! And, like, that made me laugh. Then there was something with Jerry and uh, a copy machine that was kind of funny. But they made me, like, giggle. And they were, like, forceful giggles. It wasn't hilarious. So the movie's just, I don't know, it's just another one of those. And it's not good. It's out on HBO Max. If you have an HBO Max subscription and you want to save your money and you're somewhat curious... Yeah, I mean, the movie's what I expected it to be. When I did my trailer reaction for this, I mean, I, I even said, I was like, it doesn't look good. It, I know exactly what kind of movie this is going to be, and it's exactly what I expected it to be. It was something to watch. Had a laugh or two, and I love Tom and Jerry. I, I grew up on them when I was a kid. You know, it's uh, it's something that... I had a little phase when I was like five or six, year old, five or six years old when I was just huge into Tom and Jerry. And, yeah, I mean... If you want a good Tom and Jerry movie to watch, go watch Tom and Jerry The Magic Rain. There's a good there's a good Tom and Jerry movie. That's actually pretty funny. I'm going to give Tom and Jerry one out of five stars. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you also are not a fan of Tom and Jerry, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and you're new here. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.